Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about something really important. Viruses on your iPhone. Can you get a virus on your iPhone? If yes, how you can remove it, how you can detect it, what you can do about it, and of course, how to protect, first of all, your device so that you don't actually get a virus. It is really important to know all of these things because you don't wanna get scammed or maybe get your device infected, even though that's actually pretty hard to happen, but it can. Now, before I get into all these details, I just wanna ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos, you wanna see more of them, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about here are the antivirus apps. If you see an app, an ad for an app, basically letting you know that it can scan and remove viruses from your iPhone, just ignore it. Don't download it. There is no such thing as an antivirus for your iPhone. You don't actually need it. Now, now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about whether you can get a like a virus on your iPhone or not. Yes, you can basically have like a virus on your iPhone. Your device can be infected, but it's really hard to happen. There are things, of course, that you can do that basically can let that happen, but it's really easy to avoid. First of all, when installing apps on your iPhone, make sure you do that from the App Store. Installing apps like hacked apps or something like that from third-party stores is very risky. There are apps, of course, that you can download outside of the app store. There are a few methods with, that you can use to do that. Those apps are like cracked or something like that. The code might not be as it should. It might basically have something that will infect your device. So you will have to actually avoid that. The second thing will be jailbroken devices. I know that's not basically a thing anymore, but there are still devices that are on old, running old iOS versions that can be jailbroken. If you have one of those devices and you have a jailbreak in it, just don't install like tweaks outside of the Cydia repos that you know are legit. There will be, of course, a lot of paid tweaks and you want to get them. You will find them for free on different repos, but those are actually not secure. So you want to avoid them, of course, as much as possible. Now, the thing about the viruses on the iPhone is that even if you have one of these cracked apps or a tweak or something like that that has a virus, your iPhone will stop that virus on the sandbox so it doesn't spread to the other apps. And that's really a great measure that the iPhone will take for you and you don't even know it, but it's actually very effective. So most likely you won't be at risk with the virus on your iPhone at all. Now, when it comes to viruses and having your iPhone infected with a virus, this is most likely something that can happen and it happens a lot and you will have probably have seen some like this on your device. This is basically spam. You go to a website or you see an ad that you need to scan your iPhone, that you got a virus or your iPhone has been hacked or something like this. You can see how this looks. It looks very dangerous, very intimidating. You can see, you see this and you tap on clean device right here. You shouldn't do that. Never do that. It's not legit. You go to a website, you see something like this. It's just a scam. Usually what these things will do is maybe add a calendar to your device. You can see sometimes you tap on a few links and you will have all kinds of different events on your calendar. I will show you guys how to deal with that later here. Or maybe they will try to send a message from your iPhone. So you tap, let's say here on clean iPhone, it will redirect you to your iMessage app and have a message ready for you to send. Basically, those are different scams that are being used currently for iPhone devices. You cannot actually get a virus, but you can get these kind of scams that are just prompting that will help you fix your device problems. Of course, scan your device and remove the hacks and stuff like that. Don't fall for that. That's not true. If you see something like this, just ignore it. Or if you see a pop up on the screen right here, notice that when you get a pop up that's legit from your device, you won't be able to leave the screen. So if I get a pop up here, I swipe up, I go to the home screen, I know it's fake. When you get it from your device that's legit, it doesn't allow you to swipe up to go to home screen without having to deal with the pop up first. So if you see something like this, just make sure you ignore it. 
And now let's talk about that calendar thing. So I have a calendar here that I have added just to show you guys. It's not a scam or something like that. It's a legit calendar. But as you can see right here, if I go to my calendar, you can see I have a ton of different events right here. And all of them have been added by that calendar. And now let me show you guys how to deal with this, how to remove it. It's actually pretty simple. You just tap on the calendar here. And then as you can see right here, you will have all the calendars that you have on your iCloud. Basically, these will be added all to your iCloud. All you have to do here is just go ahead and tap here and then tap on unsubscribe and it will actually remove this. So tap on unsubscribe and this will be removed. If it's a fake calendar that has been added to you as I explained it, you can also use the unsubscribe and also report junk. So that's even better. And as you can see now, all those events are gone from my calendar. Next up, let's talk about apps. So if you think that an app that you have installed most likely outside of the app store is doing something to your device, it has maybe a virus or it's trying to hack your device or something like that, then there are a few ways in which you can identify that. And most of that will happen with the battery because those kind of apps will work a lot on the background. So what you need to do is head on to the battery settings And here, when you go to your battery, just go to view the battery usage. Now, right here, we'll have a list of all of your apps that are using the battery. Now, what's really important here is to see which app is at the top. Of course, there will be a few apps that will use a ton of battery, but you know whether they should be there or not. If you have been using that app a lot, of course, it should be there. But if you have used the app just for like a few minutes or a few seconds and it's there, then you know that it's consuming a ton of battery that's by that's because something is happening in the background of your device and that app is staying active for a really long time now if you're having these problems on your device and you're seeing your device maybe draining the battery or overheating or something like that and you think something suspicious is going on in the background there are a few things that you can do first of all do a hard reboot of your iphone volume up volume down and then you press and hold the side button here until the screen goes black and then you see the app logo then is, then is when you release the button and also turn off your device you should do this actually regularly i've done a separate video on this you should turn off your device for a couple of minutes at least and i think you should do that at least every three or four days maybe even once a week but you should actually do it is really important and if nothing helps and you can also restore your device even though that's quite a long process and probably you don't want to do that but if you think nothing is working your device is overheating draining battery and you're suspicious of, of something just go ahead back up of all of your data reboot your device completely and then of course you just go ahead and just import that backup and you're good to go so that's basically for this video guys this is the few ways in which you can get viruses not really viruses but maybe some shady stuff on your iphone and of course what you can do to prevent it and how to deal with these things so that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful if you did smash that like button and of course subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys on the next one